Protest three five. One one four protest nine five. One one four protest nine five. Third contact. Okay, they're off. Nigel, nice fluid start. Really needs to work on pointing as hard as he can right now. One one four protest nine five. It's a lefty before his time runs down up the uh, up the left side there. So the left roof looks ahead and the right roof is pretty light air right now. Nigel is in a very good spot here. He might even have a shot at a cross, although the puff is hitting these boats a little farther up the lane here. So he should, he should tack and cross those first two before he can. 801 looks good here in the middle. Nice lefty for 2-1. So there he takes three transoms for 7. And uh, these two boats in the middle, 801 and 141, look very good right now. Big puff coming down on them. 2 1 looks good out of the right. Just got to get into the pressure a bit. And uh, big righty right now. Boats on the left are headed. But it's really about being in the pressure. The right's really failing. No one back there. Come on. Okay. There comes another mark, 8-3 in the lead, followed by 801. Uh, 683, 1, 7, 16. And 2 1, can you just get. Oh. Acknowledge, acknowledge! Acknowledge! 6 3 has got a nice jump. 801 was one of those boats out of the middle, I believe, the 683. Nice. Big cluster here. 21 turn done! For right. what? You didn't give me room at the mark. We were over that like, four boat then. You pushed me onto the mark. Okay. Over. There's a red set on. See if there's a couple of boats to advance. David, 23 here. He's on a bubble. So this is the battle with a short course today, so the winter park's coming up very quickly. The lead boats are 63663 Nigel from USA, 141, and I can't see these numbers quite yet. Two threes and nice pressure behind, it's gaining a little. Two of right, got an initial righty, gained a little. 
Big wide thing on the other side. One deck for the box, six full. Contact with the mark, six four. Thank you, six four. Left gate looking downwind went uh, 20 meters tacked, and I'm pretty much going to be able to make it to the lay line here. So, quite a right shift. They're looking fine. Nigel's in an excellent position with excellent speed. Good. 141 and 16 would be uh, the cutoff here for the six advancers. It's right now with 16, 23, and 85 or 58 threatening. Yeah, big lead over the guy. Ooh, there's a contact. Contact 7, 801. So 7, nipped 801, moved into Thank what you, looks like it's going to be a uh, third place, although he's sailing out of the pressure and 1-4 is gaining. Oh. Cross. Safe. Okay. So 6-3 maintains his lead, followed by 6-6-3. 8-0-1 lost quite a bit there, got a little bit too far to the right. Now 7-15 and 1-4-1. The bubble now is 8-0-1 uh, no, and 6-3 is right on his heels threatening. Real light just off the scattered ley line off the offset. Good jiving. There they go. Contact! Six, four, seven. Seven is here. Seven is right now. Fifth, eight oh one would be sixth. And that's a threat. One deck, one eight, two, four, two. So, good battle here for third, fourth, and fifth, and sixth. That's the, all those boats will advance if they stay together there. Two, three is the spoiler, and a huge gap to seventh now. This is really smooth, these leaders. Outstanding turn, 64 and 3 So we got 663 in the lead. 63 inside, 7 is going down the outside. And that is the, the, the wad of 7, 2 3 is the spoiler. So one of those boats is not going to advance right now. Big lead down to 8. And they're pretty much a Port Grau Reach. Through a run, but it's all port jive here. It's just a, just a way to play the, the line here. It's like 6 3 is going to pass 6 6 3, and that left gate is favored by about four boats at least. So 7 is going to get to that position, hopefully, and hold it. Oh, I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Get around 7. He does. He maintains third to the favored gate. 2-3 suffered here a little bit. So there it is. That's the top 6, 6-1 six, being the only vote of the top 6 that went around the outer gate. No water, 2-2-4! Two, two, he four. is good pressure here. So he's almost even with 6-6-3, six, six, so he gained quite a bit. 6-3-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-
outstanding speed, Nigel. Still be a little quicker with a little bit more Cunningham, buddy. But excellent speed. <laughs> One four is now into full pressure and is in the right, so he's climbing a little bit. Two three is good. He's dropped. But there's a lot of racing left. The rest of this upwind, the downwind, and a large upwind to the finish. So two three is almost out of the pressure here. Still in the right shift. So he could threaten. 801 a little. 16 has been dropped. We went right and that's it. So 23 now has the sixth place position and 16 is we are well behind. Oh, these guys just need to keep it tidy. Contact 80163. That's yeah, so a big collision there. They're, they're far enough ahead to do their circle, no problem. Stay in the top six. Thank you, 63. Uh, All right. 663 is in the lead, Nigel's in second. 141, right behind him. And uh, 16 is uh, falling to ninth. Contact with the mark! 214! Okay, 17, or 07. Nigel's going well. 23 is going well. Gained four positions up that last beat. Very good job. So now let's see, the battle is with, well, actually 6-3 is in 6, he's fine. 801 is in 5th, 2-3 is in 4th. 114 is, or 141 is in 3rd. 07 seconds in 6-8-3, sitting very well. So for a pass, 6-1 or 1-6 would need to catch 6-3 uh, here. And, uh, it's, it's about 20 meters right now. It's going to be difficult. Left gate again looks favored, but it is out of the pressure. There's a hole here that's created by the berm. And you can see the light spot just 10 meters to the left of these boats on the run. So while the left gate is favored looking downwind, you need to tack fairly quickly or you fall out of the wind. 683 does the right thing. Tack. It looks like Nigel is going to thinking about it, keeping his speed up. 2-3 rounds this other gate in pressure and actually gains quite a bit. Take three on starboard running boats. Right now on angle, I'd say 2-3 is now in second. Three on starboard running boats. Nice rounding. So actually, this, this inside gate is very good. 2-3 now in commanding. There's no room for 9-5. Starboard for 2. One four one. Looking good out on the right, but still not enough pressure. 8 on 1 as well. 9 5, protest 9 5. Okay, upwind we go, short feet, another 50 meters to the finish. 2 3 in the command, and third now, excellent rounding. One, four, one, two, marching five, forward, good job, David. And Nigel's just staying right with 6 8 3 there. 6 8 3. Tacks are a little puff up the middle there, and I just, just keeps going. And 683, if you went any further, was threatening getting out of the breeze. So, Nigel, other than coming back on port, threatens here. Here he comes into the finish. So, 63 is going to be the sixth place boat, the last boat to advance, unless something disastrous happens here. But he's in a good position. All the pressure is left, so those boats behind will fade. I think 6-3's got it locked up, yep. 6-1, one, 1-6, there's no wind. And there's the attack. It's amazing how hard the right can get light. And uh, there's 6 right there. Good racing. Wolf, Sweden, the red sails there, just couldn't quite connect the dots, but good race. 3 0, 8 3, 1 1 4. 199 is about finishing 12th here. I think he was in first or second around the winning mark. That's hard. And uh, 2 1 4, 10 5, 4 2, 2 1, 5 2, 2 4, 2 7 2. So let us sum it up. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, signing off.
ja.